Who's watching? No one. Got this um So uh, welcome to Manchester, there's one viewer in the house, which is not bad when you've got 400,000 subscribers having one viewer. This is a private live stream for you, bro. <coughs> so, the reason I'm live streaming from central Manchester, hello everyone, hello Matthew, hello Darcy, hello Goody, hello Alice, hello Dave, hello Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate. Uh, anyway. So, um, hello everyone, hello Luke, hello JB, hello everybody, there's 12 of you in the house, I'm sure there's more, but we'll let a few more arrive. What we'll do, we'll walk around, and uh, I want to put this coffee down, Get, check this out, the Volvo people, Volvo have given me a free coffee because I got them 50,000 views for the new Volvo Volvo, it's quite impressive, hello, oh the hellos are coming in thick, thick and fast now, hello David, hello Urbex John, hello KMS, hello Psycho Paul, hello John Fused, hello everyone. So right now, how good does Manchester look with the corn exchange behind, but then you turn it around and it all gets a bit modernist, all gets a bit... So um, I've got a big important announcement to make. It's not... So, hello, hello, come on the live stream, come say hello, look. People with good taste viewing. <laughs> nice of me, all the best. So, uh, check out this hair color, look at that poison dart, for, look at that. Someone incorrectly stated that I would have hated punk culture in the 70s because... Um, I'm against like bright toxic colored hair. I'm not really against it. I just think natural stuff is better. And you're allowed to have a, a preference. You're not a bigot. You know, if you have a genital preference in your dating partner, it doesn't make you a bigot. It just means that you're expressing your own personal choice. Personal choice. So anyway, yes, I've got a big important announcement. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish my coffee and we'll mess around a bit with this camera. We're on the tram line here. But uh, let me say some more hellos to you all. Oh, wow. Wow. Thank you, everybody, for being in the house. Hello. Michael John Dennis. How's my favorite middle-aged homosexual? How are you? Michael John Dennis. What I love about my videos, nine times out of ten, there's always quite a well-written, quite a literary homoerotic story from Michael John Dennis. <laughs> Gypsy children walking past. Hello. Hello from Australia. Hello. People loving the glasses. You were in Edinburgh, yeah, Edinburgh's a good city. So there's a lot of um, teenage gypsies, Irish travelers, English travelers meeting behind me. And uh, I've got a very viral short of uh, chatting to them and I was very nice to them, but I unfortunately started the video with, they all congregate like flies to shit. And uh, I chose my words very poorly. Nothing against the gypsies. When they're not stealing, they're very good people. So I launched a video yesterday. Hello, everybody. I am reading your comments. I've got a couple of Palestinian flags, remember? Palestineflags.com. Um, <laughs> hello from Iran. Wow. Bomb, 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 Iran. No, don't bomb Iran. Anyway, should we talk about Iran first? And then I'll talk about the reason why I started this live stream. So um, remember when Donald Trump and the American Air Force blew up General Soleimani about four years ago? And then the Iranians had to retaliate, so they fired a few rockets at the empty corner of an American airbase. They gave a few American soldiers concussion. Some of them had um, brain injuries from the, the blast, but no one got badly injured or killed. It was the same. When I saw that Israel had, had bombed the, the Iranian Revolutionary Guard headquarters in Damascus, killing another top general, I knew that the Iranians would retaliate. But again, they'd retaliate in a way that made them look hard but never threatened to kill any Israelis because Israel is itching for a fight. But anyway, that's not why I'm talking. Where we are, RIP OJ Simpson, fucking hell. Free Scunthorpe, can you imagine having the word cunt in your, in your title? S Cunt Thorpe. It's like there's a town just north of Manchester called Clit Hero, Clithero, but it's spelt Clit Hero. Um, 
Reports in the comment section about my father passing away are very premature. And uh, what a strange thing to, uh, to write to someone. Anyway. So, yesterday, we all woke up and saw the Sydney attack. And uh, I thought it looked like a duck, it quacked like a duck, it stabbed like a duck, looked like a duck, had all the mannerisms of a duck, and so I thought, that's a duck. Turns out I was wrong. But I'm not going to apologize, and I'll tell you why I'm not going to apologize. Because the whole world reasonably, reasonably guessed, and it was a reasonable guess because he acted and looked like one, that it was an Islamist attack fired up by ideology, religion, hatred. Turns out, turns out, it was a mentally ill, schizophrenic, Maltese gentleman. Now, Malta is in the Mediterranean. It's not very far from North Africa, not very far from uh, Arab countries. And so he did look like an Arab to me. And um, I have a very strong pattern recognition, overclocked chimpanzee graphics card brain. <laughs> and I see patterns. I see people that do the stabby stab. And, uh, and so, like many others, including many main news organizations, I said, yep, Islamist attack. Turns out it was uh, Joey Cucci, Couchy, Fauci, Ouchy. Turns out he was a Maltese maniac. Now, I'm getting a lot of comments on my Liverpool video because I, I thought it was wrong of the Islam crowd to preach on the day that I suspected there was a, uh, an Islam attack in uh, Sydney. But I, it's, I'm not going to apologize. I'm not going to apologize because even though I got it wrong yesterday, there is still a worldwide campaign by Islamists to terrify and spread terror and spread death and destruction. Now, of course, not all Muslims, no. There are Muslims serving in the Israeli Defense Forces. There are Muslims serving in the British Police Force. There are Muslim judges in Israel. Clearly, it, the, it's not so much that Islam will make you turn into a, a violent killer. No, not all Muslims become terrorists. But 99.9% .9 of all terrorists are unfortunately of a certain persuasion. And so I'm not going to apologize. And here's another thing for the Islamists out there, for the Hamas cheerleaders, for the people that cheer when something bad happens to white people or to the West or to Israel. You need to look at yourselves. If someone acts in a stabby, stabby, stabby way, and for all reasonable people, it reminds them of a particularly politicized ideology of Islamism, what does that say about Islamism? That's all I wanted to say, really. But whilst we're here, and I've got 1,070 of you in the house. Check, look at all the gypsies behind me. Look at the gypsy teenagers. <laughs> I'm gonna try and turn the camera around, one sec. Let's see if this works. Wait, will it work? Yeah, kind of. So uh, this is the view from the other side. Now, um, having very small concerns Oh, it's okay, just doing a live stream. It's all good, it's all good. Hey, hey say hello everybody, hey! Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, you're, you're on the live stream. Look at this, there's a guy watching the live stream. How fucking cool is that? Wait, let me turn it around. Let's break the matrix. Can you hold up the live stream again? So, Thank you. Anyway, that just reminds me, everyone can find me and take it easy, man. I'm, I'm gonna go run so no one knows where I am. Come on in, come on in. Look, we got some... Young English traveler boys. Get up the prices. Huh? Get up the prices. Get on the loose. Yeah, so um, how, how did you do you watch my videos, you know? I don't know, I have a funny effort. They've got good taste. Sorry to, to get you in, but it's all right. what I'll do. Hello, look at this. Hi. So anything to say to 1,267 oh, people? You've got some views now, don't you? You're getting there. Yeah. So how come every few Sundays I see a big group of teenage... Just how it is. Just how it is, isn't it? Yeah, so what what's the plan for today, guys? What are you going to do? I have a fight or something. Have a fight or something. Yeah. Look at that wholesome fisty cuff. But let me guess, you guys never 
three knives. No. So Check look at that. No, look at that. I, I believe them. Travelers honorable when it comes to fighting. A good bit of fisty cuffs. Hey, some of them is <laughs> yeah. Cheers, guys. See you later. See ya. Hey, Yo. Video girls, it? Thank you. I will do. Cheers, guys. So, let me read some comments. Forgot my glasses here. Fists. Hater. <laughs> Have I got a hater in the house? Go on. Go on, hater. <laughs> right, we're going to go to Cottager's Cove now to get a live stream of um, some men loving each other in public. And I don't, there's not going to be um, eudaimonia, none of that platonic love. We're talking about full penetrative, rectal tearing love. We're going to go there, guys. I've got to be careful because um, my attention is in the phone and uh, I'm going to get jumped or stabbed or punched, sucker punched. I think this live stream would do very well if I got knocked, but no. I was going to say fucking Keanu Reeves just walked past me, but 30 years younger Keanu Reeves. We're going on to Market Street now, guys. It's right there. Don't click on another video. Don't fuck about. Enjoy each other's comments while I try and get some as well. Someone said that, careful Charlie, he has a bike seat. Oh, I'm sorry. Should I challenge every single person with a metal pipe? Nah. Right, let's go see what the Hare Krishnas are doing. I've turned the camera around. What type of music do I like? Says someone, I like everything. I only like, you know, you guys all think I'm a big Aphex Twin fan. I only like five songs by Aphex Twin. I think the rest are a bit weird. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So behind me, there's a whole bunch of... We've got one... Shit! Are you all still there? Can I ask as well, what's the... What's the quality like? Are we on potato cam or are we on 720p? So behind me, the vegans, but since the peace treaty, peace treaty with David Rams, good guy. I'll leave them to it. David, if you're watching this, you are the peacemaker. I had a great time upsetting and challenging the vegs. The vegs, man. But since I became friends with David Rams, he's a very prominent vegan activist, very prominent. He's a bro. Can't be angry at the vegans anymore. I guess. Right, better now. Yeah, thank you. I was under the covered section. It made the uh, thing really bad. But um, for people who have just joined, the reason I started this live stream was to not apologize, but to correct myself. The attacker in Sydney was not an Islamist. He was a schizophrenic, mentally ill. Hello, mate mentally ill Maltese guy. The Maltese Falcon got a bit stabby yesterday. But he looked like an Arab to me. But then again, there's a whole argument. Do some Maltese people look Arabian? And the answer is yes, they do. Let me just... Uh... Hello, Scapatici. I'm on a live stream, so 1,500 people. Not bad. Okay, I exaggerate, 1,361 of you. But we're, we're heading up to Cottager's Cove. For those of us just arriving in the channel, we're going up to Cottager's Cove. We might as well do it live. Um, anyone, of course, wants to send a super chat or a sticker or any other lots of attention and read it out of and uh, you support the channel that way. I get me shekels, you get your mouthpiece, right out on the Market Street to these 30. Someone saying, oh, Vikinger, another uh, Vikinger. Vi am I saying that right? Another um, ticked account. Oh, I've lost it now. Too many of you are commenting, that's amazing. But he said something like, pretty sure Malta 
has a lot of Byzantine influences due to it being occupied at some points throughout history. I'm sure the when the Muzzies were on their uh, expanding um, caliphate phase, I'm sure Malta must, if they took Spain, if they took Portugal into the, what was it, the Andalusian caliphate. Thank you, what was that? Someone's just sent me some money. Two dollars, nice. Saying he loves Cottager's Cove. Well, that's where we're headed, guys. Might as well. So, yeah, enjoy the NPCs, guys. Can I just get a quick pull? Do you guys want camera facing forward? Or do you want camera facing back? Forward or back? Me or that? Forward, back, back, back. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There we go. Because you guys know what I look like. You know what I look like, so we'll go this way. All right. We're passing the very famous scene where an aggressive, fresh from prison crackhead said he was going to snap my jaw. Just over here. I said, no, you won't. And then I had to kick him in the chest. And he squealed. And uh, the, the lack of gentlemanly behavior, he took down a, a crackette with him. A, a female cracky, the crackette. You know what? Someone's asking, where's Crutchy? He's been spotted. Although I've had Chinese whispers. People tell they spotted him. But I'll tell you guys a strange psychological thing that happens. People get very excited when they meet me and I'm very grateful for their excitement. You know, they're fans. There's a policeman on the tram. That's a busy tram. Wait, what's going to go on here? And uh, so they get very excited when they meet me and then they're like, oh, I've seen Crutchy. He's got a knife. He's around the corner with a bottle and he's getting arrested. And I'll run around the corner and there is no Crutchy. Lua says, watching for a long time now, have some shekels. Thank you, Lua. Lua is uh, Portuguese for moon, so I appreciate it. And Deek M, shall we make a giant daisy chain and go to cottagers with Charlie? For my more innocent viewers, a daisy chain is when a group of men interlock with each other's anuses and penises in a nice big daisy chain. And it's like, <laughs> and then they run around together. So to answer your question, Deek, absolutely. You've donated five pounds. I'm now gonna find 10 other men or maybe 12, 13 of a baker's dozen of men in a, in a homosexual circle. All right, so anyway, let's see. So what do I always say when I see that McDonald's, guys? I want to see it written in the comment section. What do I always say? Thank you, David, 14, five pounds for a coffee. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that very much. Very kind of you. Oh, we got one in Vanin in Tallinn, sent 79p, you legend. Here we go. There you go. The most dangerous McDonald's in the Western Hemisphere. Absolutely correct. So, uh, rumors of uh, my being too scared to return to Manchester are slightly overstated. Hello. Hey, you guys. I'm doing a live stream. Do you want to be in it? Or should I come to you? Why, why are you running at this phone box anyway? So, we do a meet and greet. Yeah. If you watch that, uh, wait, wait, wait. it's a rapper called Meeks. Oh, that guy there, meet and greet. Yeah, 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 that guy in the billboard. Anyway, these nice guys, we did a little intro earlier and they're doing a, a rap, meet the rapper. So, cheers. Oh, we got, we got 1,400 people. Woo! Up the jocks. See you guys, yeah. Up the jocks. Big up the jocks, indeed. Go on. Hello, mate. How are you? Not seeing you. I'm on a live stream, so. I've got a picture of you getting a picture of him. Oh, nice so one, mate. Yeah, please do. Good to see you. How are you, anyway? You're doing well. Good man. All oh, right, I got another one here. Wait. Player number six. Bag of pickled onion monster. Oh, thank you. Are they two quid now? Monster munch are two quid. Anyway, viewers. Viewers. View arrows. I mean, well. You should see the days when I've either not made a video or it's been too rainy for a video, I get anxious, I get stressed, I get snappy, I get rude, I get condescending and not good company. But today, here, here at the Victoria statue, there was a, a transgender medication and rights rally 
and I heckled them. They were talking about health care and having to, there was a teacher, he came up saying that he will not tell the parents if the kid uh, wants to identify as transgender and I shouted at them, how dare you as a teacher talk about not telling the parents, you bloody scumbag. And there were three police there and I felt very safe. I felt very English and decent. If JK Rowling, if JK Rowling can put these transgender women in their places, literarily, and then I think I have the right to tell some horrific ideologically driven people. <laughs> Wait. Tez sends me £10. Biggest donation so far. Tez, thank you. And what do you say? Love your work, Mr. V. Keep up the good fight. One by one, the stupid will be educated. Now, Tez, you raise a very valid point. When I was 15 years old in 1995, I was shown the internet. I might have been... Oh, shit. It wasn't beeping at me. Fucking hell. Hello, I'm doing a live stream. Come on in. What are Come you on saying? In. Hey, yo, rest not. Shout out, rest not. That's my band. Rest not. Rest not. Hey! hey come on. Cheers, mate. All the best. Yeah. You too, mate. Thank you. Rest not. There you go. So, Tez, you raise a valid point. When they launched the internet, I thought everyone would be a genius within five years because of all the information available to everyone. Turns out people only understand things at their level of consciousness, at their brain power. So I agree with your optimism. One by one, the stupid will be educated. Maybe it's better that we say one by one, the ignorant will be educated. I think, anyway, let's turn the camera this way. Okay, we're not far. We're not from, uh, Cottagers Cove. We're going to hopefully get a good haul, guys. I've never done Cottagers Cove live. So, uh, this better be. We've got some good number of people in the house, actually. Over 1,500. That's uh, a new record for me. But then again, usually I do these shorts from a boring house, a boring apartment. Oh, wait, another donation's come in. Thank you. Have some back, Charlie. Thanks for the content. I hope your dad's comfortable. Much love from Kelso. Thank you very much. I appreciate the good vibes towards my father. Someone was very rudely saying he had passed away. That is not true at all. And uh, I wouldn't uh, joke about people's personal family matters on someone's live stream. That's just me. I just wouldn't do it, but each to their own. Now, this is uh, the kind of scary parts of North Vegas here. This is where dreams come to die, guys, on the kind of the walk towards Piccadilly Gardens. Oh, thank you. The Juju Juju Juju. The Juju has said, big up the conscious tribal crew. I think I know who this is. I think this gentleman filmed the conscious tribal crew with a Samsung S24 Ultra and sent me the results. And I was like, yeah, that's quite impressive. My G. My G. Uh, you're all very kind, and I appreciate it. So we continue. This is uh, so another great spot for you guys here to see in Manchester. I mean, Reggie Photo, Reggie Photo from Preston. And I was here, filmed that God created Manchester on the sixth day. There I was. First of all, this guy's got his not allowed certificate. Not allowed. I was right here, and then Reggie Photo gets his fucking balaclava on, starts rushing me with like his plastic something. I thought he had a, I won't say it on the live stream. Had, I thought he had a bladed article on him. And I was like, don't come too close, why? Anyway, we're mere minutes away guys from the cove. How dare Reggie Photo frighten the Veach? How dare he? I did thoroughly enjoy it though. So, Malmaison is the hotel I ran into when the horrific troglodyte with his uh, metal pole pike bike seat decided that the argument wasn't over. And so, you might as well have a look. He was getting his bike seat off here. I ran in here, because I, you know, not really into metal poles. And I hid behind the rotating doors and I held them closed. And then he was like, wee, wee. Anyway. 
Each to their own. Each to their own. Yep, guys, 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 we're, 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 going, we're going to Bummer's Cove. Here's the reconnaissance bus, free bus number one. When the legs get tired, I'll ride that bad boy for free. So can I just do a vibe check, quality check? Are we in uh, HD or are we on potato cam? I just want to make sure everything's correct for Cottager's Cove. Now, usually, viewers, we're about to get into the Cottager's Cove now. Have I got the green man? No, he's not allowed. What's going on here? Oh, it's about to go green for us. Okay. Hello, how are you? You okay? Thank you. Now, another thing that guy from most argumentative man in Britain, he said, he did a one hour video, a lot of inaccuracies and inconsistencies and omissions, but he said that the people of Manchester don't like me. And I found that quite upsetting. Oh, I think someone's just sent me something. Good luck at Felcher's Cove. Felching, Kev, thanks Kev, your ledge. So we're coming, let me get the camera out the proper way. This is uh, the back of Piccadilly train station. There's the Nero's on the corner. I'm surprised actually four bicycles have survived. The crackheads very quickly figured out a way to steal these. And uh, there is a, a light that flashes furiously when it's been stolen, but even with police there, and they go, oh, look, that one's been stolen. The, the police don't have the resources to take themselves out of the game when there's cracky stabbings left, right, and center for a couple hours to deal with a stolen bike. And uh, Anyway, we're almost there, guys. The entrance to the cove is right there. So for those of you just joining us, you might not be familiar with the channel. Sometimes we like to uphold public morality and order, much like the Islamic religious police, the Matawas in Saudi Arabia. But we, we, um, we do it in a way that's not scary. So I'm gonna. So without further ado, guys, we're almost here. We're at, we're at Cottagers Cove now. If you don't know what cottaging is, it's when men meet in public to do lewd acts on one another that are illegal in public. Now I just want to reiterate again: I am the least homophobic person on earth. I love my gay friends. If I was back in ancient Greece or ancient Rome, I would be banging all the boys, but we're not, so I don't. And I'm straight, but I love the gays. I just don't think they should be doing behavior in public that you wouldn't want your child to see. Hey mate, you okay? All good. Well, you got a family. He's like, yeah, you go get the cottagers. So right, what I'm gonna do guys, we're gonna perch here for a second. I'm gonna read your comments. I'm gonna read your comments as we're here at the cove padlock my zip fix but it's potato cam all right guys are we ready I think we are ready okay we're, we're back on HD here we go hello sir how are you okay we're gonna do it guys I'm gonna put the camera down so that they don't see me coming okay just bear with me guys just bear with me Oh, I think they're doing warnings. He's warning them up ahead. Hey, guys. Any cottagers back there? Oh, there's a good hall down there. I'll go and have a look. Viewers, there appears to be a good hall of cottagers. I saw it! We're on a live stream now, boys. All right, you're innocent. Look at these guys, honestly, guys. Guys, I've just witnessed the worst instance of public bumming I've ever seen. That is the worst one. Fuck's sake. You know which way they ran? Did you see some men running? Okay, don't worry about it. Yeah. Guys. Oh. Oh, shit. Guys. It's been over a year since I've caught them doing that. Usually it's a... 
usually, but there was a skinny one being bummed with his shorts down by a, a chubby man. I saw the extraction. I'm ashamed to have coitus interrupted it. I cannot believe we've put men having illegal public sex on the Charlie Beach. Anyway, let's go down Canal Street. To, sorry, let's try and let me read some of your comments. Yeah, bumming's not allowed. Yeah. So, because we're all degenerates and perverts, the uh, live stream numbers went up from 1,400 to 2,200 there. Oh, I think my work here is done. You know, whenever men or any sex meet in public to do lewd acts, I hope they worry that just around the corner, Charlie Veach will be there with a small flash of this camera. Oh, thank you all for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure. And then we go boom. <laughs>